Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. Shannon Smith could be released after serving a little more than half of her sentence for killing the father of her children. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson joins us live now from Lebanon with a story you will see only on WLWT. Karen. Well, Sheree, the family of Robbie Tykosh expected to show up here at the Warren County Courthouse next week. They'll be fighting the early release of his killer. In addition to a possible peaceful protest, Robbie's mother tells me she hopes letters written to the judge, especially one from her grandson, will have an impact. Dear Judge Peeler, I feel that my mom should stay in prison because I've seen her stab my dad, clean through the heart with my sister in his arms. A heart wrenching letter, handwritten in pencil, from a 10 year old boy to Judge Robert Peeler. That took a big amount of happiness out of. Mine and my sister's life. Braden, just four years old, his sister Brooklyn, not even two, when they watched their mother, Shannon Smith, stab their father, Robbie Tykosh, in the heart. Shannon had stabbed him and then pulled the knife out. It was like letting the water out of the dam. Smith was arrested, indicted for murder. She had no choice. Defense attorneys argued she killed her boyfriend in self defense. A lie, Robbie's family says. Robbie had one wound straight through his heart, no defensive wounds. A jury found Smith guilty of the lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter and tampering with evidence. She was sentenced to 10 years in prison. I wanted 10 years for Braden and Brooklyn. Braden would be 15 and Brooklyn would be 13 and they would be old enough to make their own decisions. But now, after serving a little more than half her sentence, Smith could be released soon. A judicial release hearing is set for next week. Patty, who has been raising her grandchildren, says she is going to fight this, and she's hoping Braden's own words are heard loud and clear. I think it would be better for me and my sister if my mom would stay in prison because I am afraid of her. I have seen what she did to my dad. And this afternoon, I spoke with Charlie Ritgers, who is now representing Shannon Smith. And Charlie told me there's no question that this was a tragic story for both families. And I do know that Shannon is genuinely remorseful for her actions and hopes that at some point, Robbie's family will be able to forgive her. Reporting live tonight in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Hi, Karen, thank you. So the judicial release hearing is set for November 4th in front of Judge Peeler. Prosecutor David Fornschel says he'll fight against Smith's release as well.